Good morning. Today we're here at Costco. We're gonna go in, we're gonna do some shopping. It's gonna be one of our big shopping days. We will show you some of the things that we're getting. Uh, we're gonna show you some of the prices. Do a little tour of Costco. Let's get to it. As soon as we come into Costco here, I wanted to show they have the Rayo's homemade spaghetti sauce. It is a two pack for $11.99. Now the last time I checked at Sam's Club, it was $9.99 for the same thing. So this may be something a little more expensive. Been a little while since we've checked it at Sam's Club though. You excited for our first real shopping? So we're gonna try some new things today. We're gonna try the hamburger. Uh, we're a little more prepared than we were the last time. Eat it out of the yeah, package. right out of the package. Just <laughs> we're going barbaric. I think we're going to head to the food court. A lot of people were wanting us to try the uh, the hot dog. They said it's really good. Um, hopefully the food court's open. <laughs> I doubt it. We have reached the food court here. Looks very similar to Sam's. We're going to try the hot dog and a couple other things. Okay, so a couple things that I don't like with this food court compared to Sam's Club is one, they don't have many options as far as drinks. Sam's Club has all kinds of teas, uh, stuff other than pop. They do have lemonade here. Um, also, the cups are very small for the same price. It is a lot bigger hot dog, and some people were saying it was the Nathan's brand. It is not. It is the Kirkland all beef hot dog. Now, it's one, enormous. It is huge, I will say. For $1.50, it seems like a good deal. Also, one nice thing about Costco is they have where you can just use a dispenser. Sam's Club does not have that. Uh, you just use the packets. I mean, not that big a deal on this, but I would like to see more drink options here. Okay, so nice seating area. Uh, they do seem like they have a lot more tables than our Sam's Club has. So Jessica got the hot dog with the ketchup. Give it a try. <laughs> Good? Yeah. All right. My turn. I got mustard. That's good. So it is an all beef Frank. Uh, Jess just said it does sort of taste like Nathan's. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it does. It's got a, uh, it is a beef Frank. So that's pretty good. I mean, dollar fifty for a, a soda that you can keep refilling the whole time you're here. Uh, free refills as long as you're here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna say it's not bad. I think I like the Nathan's better. I do like the buns better here. Okay, so we finished our hot dogs and I thought we would try something else. We got a lot of good comments on the churros. These are fresh right out of the oven. Looks pretty good. Did you like the hot dog? Did you like it better than Sam's? remember I mean you said it tasted similar I think it tastes yeah pretty much the pretty same. dead on, <laughs> Hold uh, on is this like two different flavors of churros uh, it's sugar and cinnamon or cinnamon on one side just no, sugar. it's all cinnamon but one is like brown and look you see how one is like it's like black and white churro oh wow was it like chocolate and vanilla or something? I'm not really sure. Because it's called a twisted churro. So is that why? Because it's like two colors. Oh, probably. Two flavors mixed together. Yeah. Very crunchy. You what? Oh, okay. <laughs> she said she didn't want the end because it's very crunchy. Sorry. I hit pause. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? It's good. Is I mean, it it's good? It's like a churro. Yeah. I need something to dip it in. I know. I wonder if they have frosting. So what do you think? I mean, it's good. It doesn't really have a lot of flavor. No, it doesn't. Other than the cinnamon sugar. Yeah, like, they, they if I had have... my eyes closed and I was just eating this, I wouldn't know that I was eating a churro. I would yeah. just think I was eating like cinnamon sugar bread, which I guess technically that's yeah, what a churro but is. But honestly, it doesn't really taste like a churro I've had like, before. You would think that it would have, two, with it being two different I'm assuming two different flavors. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But they don't taste any different between the two of them. Like, right. I thought that it would have, like, a different t taste. Yeah. But they don't. I mean, it's good. Yeah. I think I think that we are just used to having churros with, like, chocolate sauce Frosting or something to dip stuff, them in, yeah. like, from Disney. But they don't taste, um, to me, it doesn't taste like a regular churro that I've ever had. I mean, it's fine. It's $1.50. So. Right. Would you get it again? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so we are done with lunch. I lost Jess. Now I found her. Looks like she found something she likes. You said that's a Jim Shore one? Yeah, For $47.99? I pay more than that for the little statues I, I get you for Christmas. I know. He's enormous. Well, let's get it. One interesting thing I just noticed here at the Rouge River Farms. Eight ears of corn, $4.99, making these $0.62 cents a piece. Uh, better than we see in the grocery stores where they've already took the husk off. Um, still $5, but you, de you get eight. And a lot of them in the stores now are $4, paying a dollar a piece for each one of these. So, comparatively speaking, that's a good deal. I don't know what something like this would cost at Kroger's, but a lot more than $9.39. It's a nice little cut-up fruit array here. Got some mango, pineapple, grapes, melon. Three pounds of it for $9.39. That's pretty good. We've been getting a lot of comments about peaches on the channel lately. They do have these yellow peaches here. Uh, four pounds for $8.99, making them $2.24 a piece, uh, which is cheaper than any regular price that we've seen in any of the grocery stores. So as far as nectarines go, I don't really know about this one. Four pounds for $12.99 seems a little high. That's $3.24 a pound. Um, you know, we see these kind of prices at Sam's Club too. Produce really isn't as cheap as you might think. What is a good deal, though, are the kiwi. $6.39 for three pounds. We've been seeing these go for $3.99 in the grocery stores for one pound. So this is a good deal. Also, they have the three pounds of the ones that we seem to get the best comments on. These Esprit Sun Gold, $10.99 for three pounds, making these $3.66 cents a pound which is still cheaper than the $3.99 a pound uh, of the kiwi that we see in all the stores so that's a pretty decent deal I have a question what's that so I was just walking around and I seen this over here it says fresh produce yeah and it's in like a, a refrigerator area oh but it looks like some of the same stuff that's out here so what's the difference I don't know let's investigate oh boy some nice air conditioning right here yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. So this is this the same corn? Yeah. It yeah, it is. But it Rouge was in River. A, maybe because it was in a fridge case out there. Yeah. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Same price, four ninety nine. They got the two pound strawberries for five ninety nine. Not. I don't know. I would think that that would be cheaper here for stuff like strawberries, but really it's about the same price anywhere else. Uh, let's see. Red cherries, eight ninety nine. How many pounds? Two pounds. Makes it four fifty a pound. 4.49 cents a pound, 8.99 for those. Uh, the blackberries, 12 ounces, $4.59. Uh, we've seen better deals. Um, fresh cut fruit tray, $9.39. It's the same one we saw out there. So basically, we're just in a. Maybe they just have a bit cooler section. Yeah. I mean, it's cool, it's but I don't. Cool. Yeah. Literally, it's uh, cool. It is cool. <laughs> These look pretty good. I will say it seems a little pricey though for some green beans. Um, it is a pretty heavy, oh, microwavable bag. You can microwave these, that's interesting. These are organic, so yeah, that's probably why they're a little more pricey. $5.99 for two pounds. It is pretty pricey for green beans. Uh, they do have the organic French beans too here for the same price, $5.99. That's, that's funny, those are both the same price because usually French is a little more. What is that? Oh, the florets. How much is that? $5.99. That's organic too. I wonder if most of this stuff in here is organic. So does that mean like all this stuff you have to keep it refrigerated? Like I don't and all that think stuff? so. I I'm I, mean, I don't know. Maybe and all I know that you don't have to keep. Well, yeah, you do have to keep mushrooms refrigerated. I mean, maybe this is the stuff they keep it here until it gets lower out there, and then move it out there. I don't know. Normally you would think this would be like an area for like milk and eggs and stuff, but... They have one of those too. I know. Yeah. This place is huge. Do you think this is bigger than Sam's? Yeah, we already talked about that. Oh, did we? It is definitely way bigger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is this? Organic Avocado Ranch. Oh, it's like a salad Chopped kit. Chopped kit. Okay. So it has like all that stuff in it to make it Yeah. Salad. 
22.6 ounces for $8.99. So one good deal I see here is the Romaine Hearts. We've been getting comments on these because these have been skyrocketing in price across the stores pretty much everywhere around Cincinnati. Uh, the Romaine Hearts 6 count, $4.39. It's a good deal. The cheapest we've seen on these is six dollars. What did you say? I said, "What is living butter lettuce?" Living butter lettuce. I have no idea. That's interesting, though. Or maybe it's organic love living. Organic butter living lettuce? butter lettuce. Either like, way, it's still butter lettuce? butter lettuce. I don't know. <laughs> Two count here, five dollars and seventy-nine cents. I don't know. We are seeing a lot of new products. Ooh, look. look at this Earthbound Farms. I didn't even know they did celery. Look at this ginormous tray. Oh, my goodness. How much is that? $10.89. Well, that don't seem terrible. No, that'd cool. be $20 at Kroger and the peppers. Yeah, you got the peppers, the broccoli, the celery. Dang. Cheese. So we got a birthday party. Should we take that over to... No, we... Okay. They probably have stuff. Yeah, they probably do. Let's go to a party like here. I didn't think you'd bring food, so I brought it myself. Well, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, these Earthbound Farm. We get a lot of comments on Earthbound Farm lettuce and stuff. I didn't even know they did celery. This is five ninety nine for two and a half pounds. A little pricey, but it is organic. And Earthbound Farm, we get a lot of good comments on them. Just found some organic carrots here. Four pounds uh, organic, five dollars and eighty nine cents. That's actually a pretty okay deal. You mean they're peeled and uh, Myers has been having some sales on my carrots. Um, I didn't see any carrots at Walmart the other day. Yeah, the organic carrots here, six pounds for four dollars and fifty nine cents. That's seventy six cents a pound. I do like how they do this, like Sam's Club, where they show you break it down what it is per pound. What did you say? I was just saying that some of the, the grapes just don't make very good. Anymore. No, they don't. Um, they look kind of like pruny. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Like, I know the ones at Sam's Club are always pretty nice. Uh, now, these are the organic sable black grapes. $8.99 for three pounds. Uh, they have the candy snap red seedless grapes, $7.49 uh, for three pounds, which is a little closer to Sam's Club price. Nine dollars for this seems way too much. You can always tell, like, Jessica's not in the stores like I am all the time. But she came and saw this and said, oh, look at these. These haven't been around in a long time. Now we're starting to see the mixed little petite potatoes kind of flooded in the stores. Five pounds for $6.69. These are normally... Uh, and I've, I've never seen one we this usually big. Get a small yeah, for one like pound. $2. It's like one pound for like three fifty. Uh, five pounds here for six dollars and sixty nine cents is a great deal. Wanted to show the mandarins here. They have five pound mandarins for seven dollars and forty nine cents. Uh, that brings it down to a dollar forty nine a pound, which is a pretty good deal. We've been seeing five pound mandarins go for eight ninety nine everywhere else. Somebody mentioned this on the channel the last time we came to Costco here. These mini lemon cakes. They didn't have them the last time. Uh, the buttercream six pack, I gotta say, these do look pretty awesome. Okay, so those of you guys who have been watching our channel for a while know that Jessica loves to get the croissants. They are a little more expensive here than Sam's Club. They're $5.99 here, $4.99 at Sam's Club. And the one thing I'm noticing on all of these, sell by... Uh, the 21st that's today so um, yeah I don't know I, I will say this if you're planning on buying a bunch of these they will start to go bad in a few days so unless you freeze them or do something to stop that they do go bad very quickly um, so that's something to keep in mind okay so how does this work well at first I saw that and I was like what but then I read the sign it's yeah 12 so you can you get mix two or match them. so you choose two packages of whatever kind of bagels you want oh seven, okay nine. so, so that, you get 12 total yeah what does that bring it out to per pack well oh, wait. that'll be four dollars price per that's per piece per piece so it'd be four dollars six, six, a six. bag <laughs> four dollars a bag four dollars a bag that i mean you know that's these are parmesan that's still 19 cents cheaper than what six of the thomas bagels are going to cost you parmesan what the heck? Parmesan oh bagels. my goodness. Oh, that feels great. Nice, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. 
And look at all that cheese on there. Uh, yeah, let's try this. What other one do you want? I'm gonna get another one. Get yeah, Parmesan. Right now, what's the date on these? That's what I was looking at because it says eight twenty two. Eight twenty two, which is Monday. Yeah. Does that mean you have to eat it by then, or they just have to sell it? No, you just have to sell it. But I was just explaining to everybody about the croissants and how we get those, and you have like a few days before they start going bad. Well, we could probably share these with your mom or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's get them. What the heck? Eight bucks. Try something new. They, they These look, look epic. Really good. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some cream cheese. Oh, we got cream cheese. What am I talking about? They have everything. They have blueberry and cream. What kind do you want? Oh no, this is cinnamon raisin. I don't like cinnamon raisin. Do you want the everything? Cream or everything? Can you get everything? Sold. So as far as like some of the sweets and cakes and stuff, I will say this is very similar to Sam's Club. A little different, but you can tell where they're doing the same type of cakes. Things that are easy to make that are very delicate. Look at this. This looks fantastic, but doesn't this look a lot like Sam's Club? Yeah. How much is that? $16.99? Oof. Yeah, those are like $13.99 at Sam's Club, so a little cheaper. Now they may have gone up in price. It's been a while since I've checked. Oh uh, boy, look at this. $17.99 for this, but this this would go a long way. That's a lot. That's a lot more cake than you think. Now on to the meat section. You do have to buy in bulk. However, this is very lean meat. The same as Sam's, uh, eighty-eight twelve, three ninety-nine a pound. Now Sam's has dropped their prices to three ninety-eight a pound, making it a penny cheaper. But I gotta say, doesn't this look a lot like Meyer meat? You know, we love Meyer hamburger. How much is that? This one is 7.26 pounds. There we go. Yeah. Well, that's okay. We'll freeze it. So this one? Yeah. And it don't matter that the sell by Sell by 821. Today? Or no, tomorrow. Well, we're going to be... Uh, well, we're going to freeze it. We'll freeze it. We'll make something we'll make tomorrow. Something tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. Whatever. Make some burgers. Okay, so Jess just asked an interesting question. Well, we talked to the guy, the, the uh, butcher, and he said that they put that from there. They can't, they can't sell it past sell a it day past or two. Date. Yeah, but, but he I said it'll be fine. I have that it must have something to do with, because on the packs it says that they packed them on the 20th, and they right. have to sell it by the 21st. So I right. think it has something to do with once they package it up. They only are allowed to keep it out for a certain period of time. Right. For it to, st I mean, it's still good for you to keep like in your fridge or something for yeah. a couple of days, is what he said. Yeah. But they can't sell it past then, I guess, probably for health or Sure, whatever, sure. Whatever well, that's that good because that yeah. tells us that it's always fresh. And that's the same with like, always the, fresh. the bagels and stuff, too, because it says the sell by on there. Yeah. So that's probably the they same way. They just made them they today, bake them, though. And right. And they can't keep them past a certain date yeah. to sell. Because it's probably a quality thing. Right. So. Well, that's good. That's yeah. good. On to the awesome meats here. I gotta say, you will pay for it. Uh, the beef tenderloin. These are filet mignons. Four of them. What is this way? Uh, two point two and a half pounds of filet mignon. Twenty ninety nine a pound. That's expensive. You're gonna pay fifty two forty eight for this. But this is restaurant quality. And you're, you know, it's like what you would pay in a restaurant for one of these is going to be about thirty dollars. 30 maybe $35, depending on where you go. Um, wow, that looks awesome. I don't want to spend that much money right now, but... <laughs> I know. Yeah, we talked about these last time. So how much are these? $39.99. See, at Sam's Club, this would be about $30. Oh, no. No. $10.99 a pound. It's $10.98 a pound at Sam's Club. But I guess it depends. Like, see, this one has four in it. So it's probably just depends yeah. on the, the way they cut them. Yeah, you see these, these just weigh fatter. a little. Yeah, this yeah. is 3.63 pounds. What you find there? This big old pump. Oh, Christ. yeah. Yeah. How much is this a pound? $4.99. Four, same as Sam's. Wow. You know they got to be watching each other. Because, <laughs> I mean, they're going to keep the prices the same or close to. Now, some of the things like produce, I kind of feel like, like Sam's Club... Or, I mean, uh, Costco here has gotten pretty Do you think this expensive. is two pieces? Like it is. Oh. Yeah, it's cut. They also have the beef ribeye roast here, which we haven't seen at Sam's Club in a while. A little pricey, but... They have I, samples out. It, samples? <laughs> oh, boy, we got to do some samples. 
$10.98 a pound though. So that yeah, that's not bad. I saw the price at first, $52. But $10.98 a pound for you now this is the choice meat, but I mean if you get the premium of this, it's gonna be $75. This is this is good right here. Look at this. Base that in something, put some seasoning on there, let it cook, slow cook all day on the grill, maybe a smoker. Boy, that'd be fantastic. They also have these beautiful New York strip steaks here, $9.99 a pound. Now this is the choice meat. A little better than what you're gonna get at Kroger. <laughs> um, you know, and for right about the same price. You know, it's, it's crazy. Because you would think that some of this would cost a lot more, but $9.99 a pound, it's amazing. Beef loin, tenderloin, $21.99 a pound. So if you want the whole filet strip here, $93.46. That's yeah, a little pricey, but if you're if you're having a big party, you know, and you really want to show off, you can get cheaper ones here too. This one's $73.67. This is prime rib. All right, I'm sorry, uh, filet mignon, beef tenderloin. Whoa. Yeah. Looks awesome. A lot of these prices are very comparable to Sam's Club. Uh, same for the uh, the pork loin back ribs here, $2.99 uh, per pound. $3.79 per pound for the uh, brisket bone removed. That's interesting. The pork spare ribs here, $3.79 a pound. You got a lot of this thick cut bacon here. Looks pretty amazing. Pork belly, boneless pork belly, uh, $4.99 a pound. It's not too hateful. And they have the pork shoulder country style ribs, boneless, uh, $3.79 a pound. That's not too bad at all. What are you saying? You couldn't find chicken thighs? It's been hard. Well, I got some chicken thighs for you. <laughs> that is a big. Look at these bad boys. Oh my goodness. Look at this whole big old pouch of them. Jeez. We need a deep freezer. It's like we need a house. <laughs> yes. Guys, keep like, commenting, subscribing, so that we can get big and maybe buy a house someday so we can get a deep freezer and put all this wonderful stuff in. Uh, I could have a nice big area where we can cook all this food and do all kinds of awesome cooking videos for you guys. Which, you know, we it's been a while since we've done a cooking video. We probably need to do that again. I know everybody's been wanting us to. <laughs> we need to use the air fryer. Yeah. We need to find a spot for it. Yeah. Our, place is completely packed. Oh, party wings. Party wings. Party wings. $2.99 a pound. Ooh. I mean, that's better than $3.99 a pound pretty much in all stores. Uh, $24.01 for this pack. Three or six. Wow. Look at that. I don't, I have no idea. It should say somewhere. I don't, I don't even see a price. Usually they have a sign somewhere above. They're all by weight, so there's not going to be a, a sign. Right. Because they're all different based on how Well, they probably, are. let's see, probably about three pounds a piece. No, no, it's got to be more than that. Four. Four pounds a piece. Because four times six is 24. So it's probably right about. I don't do math on Saturday. I know. <laughs> I will say everything in this case looks amazingly fresh. Uh, I'm not going to film nobody behind the glass here. But if you go back behind here, you can see everybody making all this stuff. That is really awesome. Um, got the spinach salad here. Look at this. Look at that. That is amazing. I might actually get this. You like spinach, don't you? I don't know. Some of the salads, they, you can agree with me on that. Some of the salads lately have looked terrible. Lettuce has been really weird. Jessica just pointed this out here. So this is a roasted chicken sandwich and salad, Caesar salad, all together. Got all the fixings right here. Got your salad here. This is, I mean, this is heavy duty. This is like three is pounds. There, yeah. I know. For 11.20. 11, yeah, 11.20. But I mean, this is going to be two or three meals, you know. Got some different wraps here. Ooh, look at these. Yeah. Roasted chicken and Swiss. Wow, that looks delicious. I did want to quickly point out that the same Gatorade packs that we get at Sam's Club did go up in price here too. $16.69, $16.68 at Sam's Club. It's funny that it seems like a lot of things at Sam's Club are a penny less 
that's just the way they do their numbers, I guess. Uh, 69 cents a piece. When you factor, you know, Gatorade's kind of been skyrocketing in price lately, so still an okay deal for now. So we are at the Costco in Florence, Kentucky. Um, so I don't know if prices have a little bit of a difference from where we are in Cincinnati. It is $3.45 for the 1% low-fat gallon milk here of the Kirkland brand. $3.03 for the fat-free milk and $3.75 for the whole milk. What's funny is that this is a gallon too. It is the same containers, the same type containers as Sam's Club. I wonder why that is. If you know, let me know down in the comments. These funny looking gallons. So it's been a little while, but somebody a couple few weeks ago was asking about Activia yogurt and that you haven't been able to find it. Uh, it has been low in a lot of stores. As a matter of fact, the one Kroger I went to the other day didn't have any of it. I tried to find it for you. Uh, they do have the 24 cups here on sale at Costco for $6.89. That's a good price. Down from regular price, $10. That's actually a pretty good deal, too, making them less than 50 cents a cup. But $6.89, yeah, that's a great deal. So somebody was asking about the boba brown sugar ice cream bars. They are 12 count box, $13.99. Um, and I know you had said that your Costco hadn't had them in for a while. So maybe they've started coming in. It's been a little while since somebody asked about this, but I kind of jotted a couple notes down of some of the things people were looking for. They do still have the Libby's sweet peas that we got some good comments on. 12 cans for $9.69. Pretty good, and the Del Monte green beans and corn. Uh, the green beans is ten sixty nine uh, for twelve of them, so it makes it way less than a dollar uh, sixty one cents a can. Sixty one cents a can, that's amazing. Uh, Fifty seven cents a can uh, for the corn here. Ten forty nine total. Do we need corn and green beans? We don't have any corn. Oh, I guess we got here just in time. So we've gotten a couple comments that Coffee Maid is going to be going up in price again soon. Honestly, I'm not surprised. Uh, coffee's been going up and everything too. It is still $6.89 for a big canister. 56 ounces of the Coffee Maid here. Uh, same price at Sam's Club. So actually, Sam's Club is $6.98, so a little cheaper here. Reverse these two numbers around and you got Sam's Club. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go over all the coffee today. I know we've gone over a lot of the meat and produce today. We will be back. Um, but we'll go over a couple things. Somebody was asking me to check out some of the whole beans. Uh, they do have the French roast Starbucks here. It's all kind of scattered about. Uh, $21.89 for a two and a half pound bag. Um, that seems a little much for a wholesale store. But Pete's Coffee here, two pound bag for $16.99 of the whole bean uh, is actually an okay price so they do have the maxwell house um, this is the original roast coffee 48 ounces for nine dollars and 99 cents that's an amazing deal now the folgers classic roast um they're not 51 ounces anymore this is 43.5 so this has shrink flated the funny thing is that it's the same size canister um still uh, not quite double of what you're going to get at Kroger's, but um, $12.49. Yeah, we're just kind of walking around here checking things out. This is only the second time me and Jessica have ever been to Costco, so everything is a little <laughs> overwhelming. Uh, there is so much stuff. I will say it does seem like Sam's Club has a lot more coffee options than Costco here. Uh, but I wanted to check out the all-purpose flower King's Arthur here because we've been getting a ton of comments on it. Uh, this is 12 pound bag for seven dollars and 99 cents pretty good deal brings it to 666.666 oh price per pound that's funny i know we've gotten some comments on the sugar in the raw brand this is a six pound bag for seven dollars and 89 cents that's a pretty good deal we're kind of running out of time here this video is going to be an hour long probably <laughs> but they do have a ton of different oils canola oil vegetable oil uh big things of it here i'll go over these real quick they do have the kirkland canola oil 11.55 pounds for 14.39 that seems like a pretty good deal uh 13.49 for the vegetable oil same size 11 and a half pounds um and it's yeah two things of them here that's why uh but you know what 
cooking oil and stuff like that has been going through the roof lately as far as prices. So if you go to Sam's or Costco, I would definitely recommend buying up one of these next time you come. So we got a lot of great comments on the six cans of the Kirkland Chunk Chicken Breast here. These are 12 and a half ounce cans as far as those who were wondering. And our prices are still the same, $15.59. Um, and I know somebody had said that they had gone up, that these keep going up kind of like Sam's Club. Somebody said that these are close to $20 at your uh, Costco. Uh, but yeah, ours is still $15.59. Um, and they do, we did get a lot of comments on the Albacore Wild Tuna Wild Planet here. Uh, these are $15.99 for six five ounce cans. So a little pricey, but we got some good comments on this. It looks like they got a bunch. Hey guys. Hello. We are out of Costco. Not as big of a shopping haul as we originally thought. Whoopsie. We were, you know, it's our second time here. Uh, it's a little overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff to look at. A lot to of stuff. Prioritize. I think you have to have a plan when you come to Costco and be like, I'm only going to shop in the meat section or I'm only going to get like <laughs> snacks and you know, things like yeah. that. Because I feel like otherwise, I don't think, I mean, we would be in there for four hours. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've been here, what, an hour and a half? It's been like two hours. So, so what did we get? We got the corn. We got the the bagels. We got the hamburger. That was the main yeah, thing we, we wanted, wanted to get. we wanted to try the hamburger for yeah. sure. So we got and almost, what, eight pounds for yeah, my Mickey 20, Mouse. the Mickey Mouse. <laughs> we had to get that. To give you an idea, usually those little Jim Shore statues that I've showed in the, some videos, those are usually about $50, $60 for the small ones. $47 for that Mickey. Huge. That is an amazing deal. Yeah, and you know, and, and I could feel like we could spend a whole day looking at appliances and stuff like that too. Well, and it's like, we still didn't even go down all the aisles. No. And, and, like I wanted to look at things and get stuff, but then it's like, <laughs> it's hard for us sometimes to shop at Costco and Sam's because we live in an apartment. Yeah. So it's really hard to find places to store things yeah. and are we only have a little refrigerator and a tiny freezer so it's like we can't buy as much as we would like to because we don't have a freezer to put it all in so right. so keep watching the channel we'll keep saving up so we can buy a house once we get a house guys it's gonna be amazing we're gonna yeah, have we're the gonna biggest have food, freezers food pantry extra on the planet and yeah it'll be awesome uh, so yeah, you know, I, I really enjoyed it. We wanted to try the food too. She liked the hot dog. I wasn't a big fan. It upset his stomach after we were eating. Yeah. But it also, I don't know, like we ate, we came here at like 10 o'clock, so yeah. we probably shouldn't eat a hot dog at 10 o'clock. Right, yeah. Um, no, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I thought know. it was fine. I mean, I was hungry, so I had to eat something. Somebody told us, a couple people told us to try the pizza. Maybe I'll try that next time. It did look good, but I don't know. I really wanted to try the hot dog because we got a lot of good comments on that too. Um, but yeah, I think the Nathan's from Sam's is way better. Uh, and like I said before, I don't know if you were next to me. Uh, I like the selection of different drinks that you can get at Sam's Club better. They have different teas, uh, raspberry tea, the one I like. They have the mango tea. Uh, oh, at their food Yeah, court. like yeah. different than just yeah. pop, you know. Sam's has a huge selection. Uh, but all in all, we had a great day at Costco here. It's good. We got to explore. You know, we got to keep checking new things. And, uh, you know, as we go along, we, you know, we covered some things that were some better prices than Sam's Club and some things that were a lot more than Sam's Club. So we'll be able to do more comparative videos the further we go along here. But anything else? Yep. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. We hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.